In the previous video we used the optional end argument with the print function to change what happens at the end of the line of output, but how would you know about the existence of this optional argument? And one way to find out about various things within Python is the built-in help function. So you can use the help function interactively to do so. You would write help and then the parentheses and hit return. I won't do that here. Instead we could use the help function where we write help, open parens, and then the name of the thing that we want help with. So let's say we want help with print and importantly we don't use parentheses on the print function here. So typically when I write a function I'll follow it with parentheses but not when it's used as an argument for the help function. Okay when I hit return now hopefully we'll get some help on print. And sure enough the help function provides us with this information about print and some of this is rather cryptic but let's concentrate on what this one particular line is telling us. It says that the print function can take any number of values and following that it says that the print function has three optional arguments and another name for an optional argument is a named argument or a named parameter. So if we see something here where there's a name set equal to something, the thing on the left of the equal sign is the name, the thing to the right is the default value. So for example here we see that end is equal to slash n and we already know that slash n is the new line character and as something of an aside although we write this with two symbols here a slash and an n this truly is a single character and we'll get into the details of that when we talk about strings. In addition to the optional argument n that we've talked about before. The help function is telling us there's an optional argument called sep and if we look down towards the bottom here we're told that sep is a string inserted between values and its default is a space. So let's try to put this new information to the test. Let's call the print function and let's pass it two arguments or two values. The first is hello the second is world, but now let's take this optional argument sep and set it equal to a string maybe hyphen capital O hyphen and that's the entire string and now let's call the print function we hit return and we see the space has gone away between the two arguments hello and world and now the separator has become that string that we provided as an optional argument. Now let's do a slight variation of that previous command. So I'm going to use that keyboard shortcut again on this Mac that's control P for the previous command, alt P on a Windows machine and that separator I'm going to change to hyphen hash hyphen and let's also throw in another argument or value here. Let's make it there. And when I hit return now we get hello hyphen hash hyphen there hyphen hash hyphen world. One interesting thing to note about this is we said before that the hash indicates a comment and everything is ignored from the hash on over to the end of the line. Well that rule doesn't apply when the hash is part of a string. When the hash is in a string it just becomes a regular character. Finally I've started a new idle session and I've already called up the help information for the print function. That line that we saw before is sometimes called the call tip. It provides tips on calling the function. Now it turns out by default that idle will provide the call tip on functions. So if you're somewhat familiar with the function these call tips can be quite helpful. I turned them off 
for the previous idle sessions because they could be somewhat distracting for these videos, but they're quite helpful when we're entering our code on our own. So to demonstrate how these behave, how they show up, we merely enter a function name. Once I hit the open parentheses, the call tip should just magically appear. Okay, so here comes the open parentheses and boom, there's the call tip. And this call tip will persist until we start calling another function or we close the parentheses. So let's enter an argument in here of the end. And once I close the parentheses, that made the call tip disappear. So that's the end.